My name is Darren Law. I am the program manager and a principal owner of Flying Lizard Motorsports. The first moment I knew I wanted to race was probably when I was a little kid. Um, my father was always involved in racing and I grew up around it and I grew up racing go-karts. So uh, I had done it since a young age. I ran carts until I was from 11 years old till I was about 18. Uh, won a national championship as a carter and then I went on to um, racing sports 2000s which were the first race car I ever drove and then I actually took off to England and raced Formula Renault and Formula Fords over in Europe uh, and, and it just kept snowballing from there. I came back to the US after a season in England and raced, um, uh, worked at the Bondurant Racing School and then went on to Super Touring then I got into, I got a ride offered and in Porsches and showed well and and I really took it from there. It was I didn't ever have money to buy a ride and I worked hard to always try and get to the next level and, and I was lucky enough to professionally drive for over 15 years. You know when Flying Lizard started which was in 2004 I knew uh, I came I came to join that program because they ran a for lack of a better term, they ran a gong show. They brought out multiple drivers. Uh, they were starting the team, Seth and I were starting the team, and I happen to know several of the crew members. I had worked with them before in the past, and um, and they brought us all out on multiple days, and they ran through all of these drivers and did multiple tests out in California, and I was given the ride by based off of my performance. You know, and the other thing that, I, that really sticks out is our very first win, which was in 2004. Johannes Van Overbeck and I were teammates, and we won at Mid-Ohio. We beat Alex Joe, which was the factory back Porsche program at the time, and to beat them was a big deal. Me becoming program manager was really an offer from Seth. Um, Seth was looking to get out of the racing industry. He'd been in it for a long time, Seth Nyman, and he wanted to basically sell the team, but he didn't want it to go away. So he um, contacted myself uh, and two other team members, Tommy, uh, Sadler and Thomas Blom and asked us, he, he basically picked somebody from each division, someone who handled the technical side, uh, the, the strategic team side, which are Tommy and Thomas, and then myself from the driver and, and, um, and media side and, and picked us to take the reins and take it over and he offered us the program. Yeah, I couldn't name all of my duties, it is everything, it's, it's almost like um, chief operating officer as far as what I do. I, I handle all operations of the business. Uh, I handle the driving side. I work co as a coach with some of the drivers, the young drivers. I work the business side, the contracts, the sponsors, um, the, the overall business um, financial status. I, I handle that. Um, you know, I work with all of our customers. I literally feel like I do everything. It's what it feels like. It's great to work with someone who is so energetic and so passionate about what he does. He's really the reason why Flying Lizard Motorsports is so successful as a customer team. He is on his phone all day, every day, making phone calls, making sure the partners are happy, and it's uh, he does an incredible job. Uh, I don't know what Darren Law does not do. Um, I've spent, like I said, the last 15 years as a driver I would show up with my helmet, we would race, I would go home, and that was my job. And now it's literally seven days a week, 12 hours a day, just constantly making things happen and making sure everything's working right. So it's a lot of work. Working with Darren Law, it's about working with him when he was a driver. Um, he's fun to work around, he gets the job done. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy his enthusiasm he brings. Um, but it's, very, it's, it's fun. He's good. Very good. A lot of things go through my mind when, I, when you ask me what it's like to, to work with Darren Law because I've known Darren a long, long time and we've been through the thick and the thin on many, many occasions. Darren's a great guy. He's 100% dedicated to what he does. He's very helpful. Whenever I need something, I can ask him and I can always depend on him. He's got a lot more on his plate than he needs. He needs to be twins, specifically, the truth. But, uh, but Darren's great. He's one of the few guys, the project managers, that you can actually talk to, and it's not in concrete about things. He's actually trying to learn what my problems are, and then he goes after trying to help me. The thing that I really like about it is that 
that um, I like the social aspect and putting these deals together and making things happen and watching the business grow and, and seeing my efforts uh, expand the business. You know, when I started or when we started this program, the three of us, uh, it was literally a pro racing team that ran one series and we've built it into a real customer based program running multiple series with multiple cars. So it's really grown and uh, it's been nice to see that. When I'm not at the track, I'm working. I work all the time. Uh, and seriously, I spend a lot of time, you know, um, speaking to our customers and working on the business side of things. Um, I do have a, a passion for mountain biking, so uh, anytime that I'm, even if I'm working, I'll leave for lunch and I'll go for a mountain bike ride. I love that. My name is Darren Law. What is it like to work with Darren Law? <laughs> <laughs> if you knew Darren Law as a driver and now he's your boss, there you can never take him seriously, quite honestly. But he's still your boss and you have to remember that. But you always hold your cards of when he was a driver and messed up and to use that against him every chance you get. Do you remember my crash here in qualifying when Colucci told me to go for it? Then you got it, go for it. So I went for it. Didn't work out very well. You ever uh, met like that grandparent that knows everything? Like that's Darren. And Jim is bothering me. Jim? I'm very sorry. I love mountain biking. If I could just stop everything, I would go mountain biking every day.